Hello friends of the internet, uh, it's Noodles here. I am here today with Smogus 2022. Smogus is a drawing of a dragon every day in the month of August, so that makes 31 dragons. Um, I did mostly watercolor, some in digital, and maybe one in marker. Uh, let's check them out. So I decided to go with Ally Brick's art prom list. I went with uh, 2021 even though I was in 2022 because I liked the, the prompts better. Day one, Hatchling. Um, on this one, I wanted to do more of a snaky little guy coming out of his egg. Fresh um, and cute. Day two is ice. Um, I actually had a pretty clear vision for this one when I had imagined it, so I kind of just put it together. I used masking fluid and then watercolor. This particular masking fluid was a new brand I was trying. Um, it's like a pen. I after like a couple paintings, I went back to my old masking fluid because it's still ripped the paper really bad a lot of times. I did not record the process of these the same for each day. Some you get a complete backstage pass and you get to see the sketch from start to finish and others you get to see the finished piece. Uh, no rhyme or reason. Sorry, I'm an artist. Day three is sun. Um, I did a sun dragon and you could see all of the planets orbiting him and the sun the top. It's our protector. Day four is royal. Um, this one, I imagined a royal dragon coming out of his house to see you and you get a very rare glimpse of a dragon that you could, uh, that nobody else could have. Look at you. Day five is uh, desert. Um, so I did a pretty cool dragon over the pyramids and the Egyptian pyramids in the desert. Uh, yep. Day six is fear. Um, I made the dragon nice and scary. Uh, I wanted it to be kind of like a painting that um, I've seen from MC Monster uh, on Instagram, but it didn't really work the way I had imagined it to. His shadows weren't as scary as I wanted them to be. Um, I mean, it was rushed at the day, but I could, if I had done it again, I could probably have made it a little bit more creepy.
Day 7. Sweet. I'm now a week into it. And I'm a week. Dragon with a cupcake. Day 8. Deadly Sin. I picked Wrath. I made a little wrathful dragon. Walking around, just being angry. Um, when you finish, he kind of reminds me of Firebrand from uh, Ghosts and Goblins. But, I don't know. He's cool. I like him. Kind of like Firebrand. Day 9. Tungsten. Tungsten is um, formed in caverns. And that's what I do. Tungsten Dragon. Day 10, porcelain. This one you get a little bit more of a process, not crazy, but a little bit. Um, I couldn't think of how to do a porcelain dragon, so I did a dragon on porcelain. Day 11, Seraphim. A seraphim is an angel that is very close to God. It has uh, six wings, it has two to fly with, two to cover its feet, two to cover its eyes. My seraphim also has four halos. Day 12, Behemoth. Uh, when I painted this one, I was in uh, into Elden Ring a lot, and it's very much inspired by it. Day 13, Wolf. I made a wolf dragon. Surprise! Um, I like how he came out. I like how his flow is. I like the colors and I love his blue eyes. Baby, you give me eyes and fire. You're giving me wind and rain. You're some kind of butterfly. Baby, you give me fear that you whip up my appetite. Day 14, Storm. This wizard dragon is making an awful storm for those knights over there in the castle. Day 15 is Zodiac. I picked Aries because my son is an Aries. Um, it has a honeysuckle and a thistle in its hand because those are the flowers that represent Aries. Uh, you see the little Aries symbol up at the top and I made him blue because that's my son's favorite color. Day 16 is metamorphic. Um, I have a couple of moth dragons in here, and this one is my favorite one. This is probably my favorite moth dragon I've ever drawn, painted. Um, it is an atlas moth being born out of the chrysalis. Very cool. I love it.
Day 17 is Fey Creature. This is also like a butterfly-ish one. Um, this one's fun. I like his little walking stance and the mushrooms. And the fairy on his nose! You're chilling when the rain You're some kind of butterfly Baby, you give me a bit that I You whip up my appetite Don't leave me in high and dry uh, Day 18, Alabrihe I did uh, Alabrihe Dragon, obviously um, this one was like the most popular one I did online. Everybody loved it. Colors, probably. Day 19, Nuclear. Um, I could have gone a couple different ways with it, but I wanted to make a grungy dragon. That was, you know, a little, um, exposed to some nuclear essence and he became it. Day 20, Life. This one is also like one of my favorite ones that um, came out. It just all the colors and the expression of the dragon. Um, I really love this one. Day 21, Moth. Look, it's another moth dragon. Um, this one is a Luna Moth, flying towards the Luna. Day 22, Villain. I had um, imagined a dragon with like lava in mouth, like lava, like vicious. And there he is. Day 23, Love. Um, I. I had a cool ideas for this one. I thought about doing a guitar. I thought about doing a ramen shop because both uh, music and ramen I love. But I ended up going with a guitar, and so it'd be a little bit easier since it was done in a day. Day twenty-four, plant dragon. Um, this one is kind of self-explanatory. It's a dragon, um, and he is he made out of plants. He lives with plants in a forest of plants. Yay! Day 25, sci-fi, I made Mecha Godzilla. It's kind of like a dragon. I also am making a sticker of this, but it isn't finished yet, otherwise I would have shared it, but that's what it's going to look like. 
Day 26 is Alien and I went with King Ghidorah from Planet X, also from Godzilla. Day 27, I actually did a Draw With Me Dragon. Show you how to sketch out a dragon using just a couple of shapes, a circle, a rectangle, and like a rectangle. Like, you know, I don't know, it's like a rounded rectangle. So and then you put its eyeball on a circle, you can put his nose on the top of the rectangle, use a rectangle to um, size out how long you want his mouth to be, bring the mouth all the way up, give him a gum line, put some teeth in those gums, um, he needs a mouth flap thing, I don't know what that's called, it's like, it's like a little bit of, a little bit of skin in between his jaws to keep his jaws together, um, and the bottom teeth, you know, follow the, the circle a out and you get yourself a little spot for the horns. His horns are a little bit difficult because he's got bismuth horns. He's a bismuth dragon. Um, and those are very cool, but it's not a typical horn for a dragon that I would typically do. And then give him two because he has two horns, so you gotta f don't forget the one in the back. And then give his neck a little bit more of a oomph. Um, and maybe an eyeball. Maybe an uh, iris. There you go. That's a sketch. So, after the sketch, we do the digital painting. You can see that one all the way through as well. Um, quick and shaded. Remember, these were done in a day, so you gotta give me a little bit of credit for that. Day 28, Swamp. Um, this is a dragon that could easily be mistaken for an alligator or a crocodile, but he has horns. And he would snap you. Maybe he'd be able to take on the pythons in Florida. Day 29, Horde. There's nothing like a dragon horde. A dragon who hoards. A hoarding dragon. Um, I actually loved this one. I think it came out really good. I ended up making a sticker out of it, which is for sale on my shop. If you wanted it, you could buy it. Day 30 is bird, um, I did a quick sketch of a bird dragon landing, he's on his way to making it home. Day 31, final day, Tarot, the Hanged Man. I did a little bit of research on the Hanged Man. The Hanged Man is hung on the world tree. He is joyful about his sacrifice. Um, the Hanged Man actually means more sacrifice than it does death or anything like that. He willingly sacrifices himself and he does it with a smile. the way through you are the best please like and subscribe 